<clears throat> okay, so um, there's a particular word problem which uh, we have to talk about, and it's it has to do with unit conversion, which we did a little bit when we converted radians to uh, to degrees. Okay, and so um, here's the here's the problem. It's uh, Tony Tony Chemis's truck has wheels that are 36 inches in diameter. And if the wheels are rotating at 630 rotations or revolutions per minute, find the truck's speed in miles per hour. Um, so before we delve into this, I want to show you a quick 30-second video, uh, which kind of is a good, I think, introduction to, to this concept. In this video, we're going to relate tangential and rotational velocity. We're going to begin with a simple demonstration. On the tire, there are two letter E's that are the exact same size. But one of the E's is located at a point near the axis of rotation, whereas the other point is located on the rim, a point that is farther away from the axis of rotation. What you should notice is that the E that is near the axis of rotation is easily recognizable as the letter E, but the E near the rim is blurred. In this video, we're going to talk about why that is. Okay, so, so what he was saying is the e that was closer to the center, uh, the e that was closer to the center, looked less blurry, and the reason that is is because even though both e's are rotating around his finger the same amount of time, the one that's closer to the edge is actually going faster when you talk about its linear motion. So what I mean by linear motion is if so imagine him spinning that wheel really really fast and then dropping it, right? The wheel's going to start to go, and that however fast that wheel goes on the ground, uh, you know, in a, in a linear direction, in a straight direction, that's its linear motion. So to do this problem, um, what you'll, what you'll want to do is we, wanna we have to find a way to convert 630 revolutions per minute on a wheel that's 36 inches in diameter. We have to convert that to miles per hour. And it's completely done uh, by relating units. It's a, it's a unit analysis type of problem. So I'm going to do that out. And uh, you'll see the, the problem, as long as you get the units right, the you don't even have to do much thinking as long as you sort of just set it up correctly. Okay, so here's my, oops, here's my, uh, my tire. All right, and we got a diameter, we got a diameter of 36 inches, but I'm actually going to, I'm going to draw the radius. And the radius must be there for 18 inches. Eighteen inches. Okay, now um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say six, and this is again the way you set this up is key. We're gonna say six hundred and thirty revolutions, and that's happening in one minute. Right, per minute. And our goal is to multiply by a bunch of conversion factors. And in the end, over here, we want our answer in miles per hour. In other words, we need to figure out how fast this car is going. So here's what we do. We know we know that we want this unit, the, these units in miles per hour, and again, miles per hour, it might be useful to write it like this, miles per hour. So we know we want hour in the denominator. So let's deal with the time aspect of this. I've got one minute here. If I need to convert minutes to hours, I've got to multiply by the relationship that one, uh, 60 minutes equals one hour. And if I put the 60 minutes here and the one hour here, what's going to happen is the unit, the, the minute the units are going to cancel. And now I've got, if I were to finish this problem, my answer would be in revolutions per hour. By the way, it's also important to notice that I'm only multiplying by the number one, because if 60 minutes equals one hour, then I'm really just multiplying by the number one. That's how conversions work. Okay, so we're not, we're changing the meaning of the answer, but not the, the values necessarily. Okay, so I've got my answer now in revolutions per hour. So now I've got to figure out a way to get revolutions and change that into miles. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out how far does the wheel travel in one revolution. In other words, if, if we dipped it in paint and dropped it and rolled it one revolution, how long would that line of paint be? Well, hopefully you 
can imagine that it would just be the circumference of the circle. And what's our circumference? It's uh, 2 pi r or 36 pi inches. So that means that we are going to multiply by Um, so I want the revolutions to cancel. So it does, uh, in one revolution, the wheel goes 36 pi inches. And very nicely, my revolutions cancel. And now if I were to stop, my answer would be in inches per hour. But we want this to be in miles per hour, so I'm going to convert inches now to miles. So I multiply by... Well, let's go to feet first. There are 12 inches in one foot. And while we're at it, we note that there are 5,280 feet in one mile and inches will cancel, feet will cancel. And if you just strictly look at the units, we'll do a computation in a second, look strictly at the units. I've got miles per hour. Okay, so I'm, I'm done. I just need to multiply. And how do I multiply? Well, these are all fractions being multiplied. So when you multiply fractions, you multiply across the top and divide by the product of the bottom. So we'll get out our calculator. We're going to do 630 times 60 times 36 pi times 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 times 1 times 12 times 5, 280. Okay, so... And again, it's also important to pay attention to how you put this in your calculator because um, some students, they get messed up with uh, parentheses here and there. So we got 6, 630 times 60 times 36 pi. 630 times 60 times 36 pi. So what I do is I press enter, and then we're dividing that by, and here's where you got to be careful. I'm dividing that by the product of the denominator. 1 times 1 times 1, oops, 1 times 1 times 1 times 12 times 5 to 80. So really, it's just the 12 times 5 to 8. But notice I put parentheses. You can't just uh, start start punching away at the buttons because if you do, you're gonna you're gonna divide by 12 and then multiply it by 5 to 8. But you want to divide by that whole that whole quantity. So we get 67.473. So the answer is uh, 67. Point four seven three miles oops, miles per hour okay so you know the reason this this shows up now is really because it's uh, it belongs in this chapter because we talked about uh, converting radians to degrees and vice versa that's all unit conversion okay but again uh, to do these problems you start with the the rate you're given and you need to convert it using these conversion factors to the one you want